Hello guys, and today we're gonna to show you how to do a quick paperclip test on your EVGA power supply. This is a really useful test. You can do it if your power supply is brand new and you just wanna see, make sure that it is working correctly out of the box, or if you're having issues with your computer and you think the power supply may play a part in that, uh, this test will help you determine whether or not the power supply is in fact part of that issue. So we have here an 850 watt G3, Basically everything, uh, power to the wall, a power cord to the wall, your power supply obviously, um, a motherboard cable, in this case we have a sleeved modular cable that plugs into this unit, your detection tool, uh, this is a small little block that will come with your power supply, most EVGA power supplies will come with this, uh, this allows you to uh, think, trip your um, power supply into believing that it is being powered on by a motherboard, um, lets you test the power supply while it's not connected to a computer. If you do not have this, uh, we also call this the paperclip test because you can just use a standard uh, paperclip, if I can pick it up, uh, to bridge the pins in the 24 pin cable and get the unit to power on. So we're going to start with our unit here. Um, on the back of the unit, there is the main power switch. There's also an eco mode switch. Very important when you're doing this test, you want to make sure the eco mode switch is turned off. The reason for this is that to determine whether or not your power supply is working with no computer connected, the only thing that you really have for feedback is the fan. If the fan is on and running, then the power supply is on and running and likely working just fine. Uh, if you turn the eco mode on, uh, the fan will remain off unless there's enough load or temperature in this unit that it needs to turn on its fan. So for the test, it's kind of a moot point if you have that turned on. We want to leave it off. Um, so first things first, uh, we're, we're going to plug it into the wall, um, but we are going to leave it switched off. Give it some power and then plug it in to the three prong in the back. Okay, eco mode is already off, power supply is off. The 24 pin cable uh, on the motherboard side is 24 pin connector. Industry standard, it's gonna be the same on any ATX power supply. On most of our power supplies, the other end is gonna be this 18 pin and 10 pin arrangement. Um, if you're not sure what yours uses, you should have a manual, it'll tell you how to connect it properly. So we're going to connect the motherboard cable here and here. Now you need to have the cable connected in order to make this test work. The reason being is that within the 24 pin cable and within that ATX standard, there is a power on circuit. If that power on circuit is grounded, then the unit will think that a motherboard is telling it to turn on. So if we plug in our tool here, goes right over that 24 pin cable, like so. Nice click. If we turn on this unit, you'll see that immediately the fan starts to spin and stays spinning. So if there is an issue where the voltages are out of range, uh, the unit should be able to detect that and not allow itself to turn on. Um, so the fact that the unit is on, fan is running, staying running, that's a good sign. If I turn on the eco mode, you'll watch that the fan turns off. So we can't really tell whether or not the unit is working. Eco mode back off, fan starts to spin. Turn the unit off, obviously the fan turns off. So we're going to do this the other way now, and that's without having the tool available, we're just going to use the uh, paper clip. So on this, we're going to take our connector with the clip to the top. We're going to count four pins in, and then the number four and the number five pin here, we're going to connect those. I believe those are 15 and 16 uh, if you're actually counting uh, relative to the ATX standard. So let me bend my paper clip here, you want to connect the pins as a circuit, so you need to get your wires straightened out. All right, that should work for us here. Connecting the one pin. Not quite. Now the two are connected, 
So the circuit between the two should be closed. Not very pretty, but it doesn't need to be. And if I flip on the power to the unit, you'll see immediately the fan starts to spin and stays spinning. So you can see this tool and the paper clip do effectively the same thing. It's not dangerous to touch the paper clip at all um, because it's a very low power circuit that you're grounding. Um, you are technically turning on the rest of the cable, but the most that you have in there is 12 volts. So for the most part, it's not a big issue, 12 volt direct current. Um, at any rate, that shows you just quickly how you're going to test your power supply. This is very common if you're running into issues or if you just want to test it brand new. Uh, if you have any other questions or concerns with your power supply, we do offer 24-7 support here in the U.S. And uh, the contact information is on our website, evga.com, service and contact us. Bye-bye.